Hi everyone, this is Karen from the Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. In this month's video, we're going to be talking about one of the veterans who is buried at Historic Montgomery Cemetery, which is uh, preserved by us. Vincent S. Pearson was born in Bridgeport, Pennsylvania in 1898. He spent much of his younger life in Bridgeport, and he would eventually move across the river to Norristown in the early 1900s. Vincent was mustered into the National Guard on May 5th, 1917. By July 5th, he was listed as a private in the 111th Infantry, 28th Division, and was being trained to get sent to Europe to fight in World War I. Pearson's infantry was originally nicknamed the Keystone Division, as he and several other members uh, had transitioned uh, from the National Guard into this division to fight in World War I. Vincent departed from Hoboken, New Jersey on May 5th, 1918, and it said that the motto for soldiers who were sailing out from Hoboken, they would chant a motto, Heaven, Hell, or Hoboken, as they were sailing out of the port. He was one of the roughly two million soldiers who would uh, set sail out of Hoboken to go and fight in the First World War. On September 6th, 1918, Vincent was listed as missing in action at Fismes, France. He was last seen around 1 p.m. that day uh, during heavy fighting in that town. Unfortunately, they did find his body a few days later. It's estimated roughly 5,000 soldiers were buried in a temporary cemetery uh, near this town, and they were eventually moved to another French cemetery nearby. That cemetery is currently maintained by the American Battle Monuments Commission, as it houses a lot of World War I soldiers. A memorial bridge was actually built by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania several years later across the River Vessel, uh, which connected the towns where this fighting occurred. And it was built by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania in homage to the 28th Division since they suffered heavy casualties during this uh, conflict. In 1919, a memorial stone was placed at Montgomery Cemetery in Norristown for Vincent. At this time, his body was still in France. In 1920, the government actually reached out to local to uh, families in the U.S. who had lost people in World War I, and they essentially offered to bring them back to the U.S. and reinter them if that's what the family wanted. Vincent's family was one of roughly 40,000 families who did write back and say, yes, we would like to rebury our loved ones here in the United States. By March 1921, roughly 212 people were shipped from France to Belgium, and then they joined others, uh, roughly 5,169 people who were carried back from Europe to the U.S. to be reinterred at local cemeteries in the United States. This ship arrived back in Hoboken on May 18th, 1921, and a few days later, on May 23rd, President Harding 
made some remarks and laid a wreath in a ceremony honoring these soldiers and nurses who had lost their lives during World War I. By June 1921, Vincent had made his way back to Norristown and was sent to the Mao Day Funeral Home in Norristown to be prepared for reburial. Later that month, in June 1921, he was reburied in Montgomery Cemetery, where he remains to this day with some of his other family members. The Harding Memorial in Norristown was dedicated in 1922, and it lists uh, World War I soldiers who uh, hailed from Norristown and lost their lives. It is now known as the 111 Veteran Memorial Park. The Norristown Rotary Club also honored the Norristown soldiers who lost their lives in World War I by planting trees for them. They planted a total of 46 trees in Norristown in commemoration of their service. I want to give a special thanks to Charles Kelly and Eileen Santori who were kind enough to share their research with us about World War I soldiers, including Vincent S. Pearson, who hailed from Norristown. Thank you both for providing your research so we could create this video for our viewers. If you like these videos, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when a new video is released. The Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania is a private nonprofit library and museum located in Norristown, Pennsylvania. We rely on support from our members, volunteers, community, and viewers like you in order to keep making these videos to allow history to be fun, exciting, and accessible to the general public. If you would like to donate to help us continue creating these videos, you can do so by clicking on the donations link in the description section below. This link will then take you to our main website where you can donate. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to seeing you in a future video.